Focused classrooms, I think, are essential because if we don't have a focused classroom and we don't have students listening to us and knowing what their routines are, we can't get very much teaching done, we can't have very much learning happening within our classroom. So it's really important to have that focus from the students right from the beginning of the year. Rules and routines are often established first day, basically. So the first day of school when they come in, um, we tell them what we expect of them. We brainstorm different expectations that they feel they need. We've got the school values as well, which all the children at the school know. Um, they know that's expected of them as well. I think high expectations are really important so that the students understand that we will be modelling the behaviour. What we expect from them is the best for their learning and the reason is because we want them to learn and enjoy school and if they want to have an enjoyable experience then these are the things that we will do within our classroom. We have a whole school approach so it's really easy for us to establish something between the two of us that's clear and consistent. The students know that we know the rules and if I went into any class in the school, I'd be using some of the same strategies. So both of us model our behaviour and the, I guess the steps within this school. A simple prompt that we use, um, so instead of focusing on the children who might not be ready to learn or haven't got their books out, like we've asked them to, we'll focus on the students and say like, well done, I can see that so and so is ready to begin the lesson, they've got their book open like I asked, um, and then often um, the children who aren't doing the right thing will see that and get their books out quite quickly. I think the go-to classroom routine for us is starting the day with the welcome circle. I think that if our day starts with our welcome circle and it's a really positive beginning of the day, our students are much more successful, our lessons are much more successful. So we always start with um, you know, a positive touch, we call it, where they'll high-five each other or do a foot tap. They'll use another student's name to say good morning. Good morning, Good morning. A positive primer really starts our day off on that positive note, so it gets them to have a little bit of a laugh and uh, engage with each other in terms of their relationships and the other thing is that we do have different types of games that we will use. So some of them are the de-escalating games where we actually have noticed maybe today they've come in very hyper, we need to settle our class, so we'll choose a game that's de-escalating. Other times we're needing to get them um, up and moving and really enthusiastic about something. So that might be where we'll use a slightly different game where it involves being a little bit more loud, laughing a lot, and that will get them into that mood. So it depends what we're needing from them for the next lesson. <laughs> Three, two, one, and track the speaker. It's really important because the students can then maximise their learning. We as teachers know that they are able to focus on what we're teaching and get the most information from us and practice their skills. And so I think it's all really about making sure they're comfortable um, and they're very aware of what's happening within the classroom. Well, I think it's important just so that the students actually know that we believe in them. So we think that they can achieve um, those expectations both like academically and um, just in their behaviours in general. 